What's up guys, Parv here with week 44 of our League of Legends Top 5 play series here on YouTube. This episode features incredible teamwork as well as intense solo plays, so I invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy League at its prime. Starting off the episode, we have Sin's Shadow X playing on Jarvan, and right from the start we see LeBlanc diving onto Brand, bringing him very low and pulling off the kill just as she escapes with barely any health left. Now when Nidalee chasing and no mana left on Jarvan, they're going to retreat, but LeBlanc splits away and head towards the brush, so he's going to be forced to turn around and help her out. She's exhausted, and she's going to land the root just in time, and then you see Caitlyn's ult's going to get lined up, so she's going to jump, and he's going to flash through the wall, blocking the bullet, saving her life. Nidalee continues to chase him down, but they pull off the kill on her for the 2-0 exchange, thanks to a great reaction time from Jarvan. Scoring in at 4th place, we have no fear of you playing Gangplank in a high-low game. At the start of this clip, Irelia overextends too far, so he's going to switch on her and eat some more just to get out of that stun. He then continues to chase her down as she turns around with her ultimate to fight it out, but thanks to Ignite, he's going to bring her really low as Trundle comes out with an exhaust. Irelia then turns around to land a stun, but then he's going to utilize that mistaken flash parlay for the kill. We are now going to speed this up as Trundle puts down his pillar and stays right on his tail. Take note of how GP uses his health potion immediately so that he can get the full effect as he runs. Now as he gets to the tower, Trundle flashes for the kill, bringing him to 24 health as he continues to run, but kites Trundle using the tower as a barrier in between them and gets a beautiful 2-0 exchange. Coming in at our number 3 spot is Excelsior 16 on Sona, but this is really a team play above any individual player. So what's happening in this clip is that they had several wards placed throughout the enemy jungle, and the other team decided to group up, get oracles, and clear wards. So you may be thinking, well that sounds like a standard thing to do. Well Sona's team sees them clearing and decides to group up as well and set up a trap. Renekton places another ward up there to gain some vision back because he knows they might be around blue buff, and now with a pass set up to them, they wait. The owner leads the pack straight into a trap as they get on the ward and Crescendo goes out followed by an explosion of AoE damage that melts the enemy team down in a second. Using wards as bait and global taunt over Teemo, nice. Double kill. Landing in a second place is Josh Trampost on LeBlanc in a clip that showcases the power spell vamp. Right from the start we see Josh land the bind on Wukong but then Vayne comes from the other side and he's going to take some heavy damage or jump through the wall and heal up a bit from the creeps. We now fast forward it for just a moment as they enter the river and Vayne pops final hour and hits LeBlanc like a truck. She makes it into the brush and with barely any health she quickly bursts Vayne down and survives the last shot thanks to spell vamp. She then heads upwards towards the purple side as the enemy Wukong sticks on Mumu but after some contemplating Sona decides to follow upwards as well. We come back to LeBlanc now who thinks she's in the clear as she decides to try and recall in the brush but is mistaken as Sona shows up but Josh manages to burst her down instantly surviving again thanks to spell vamp. But it's not over yet folks, right after Malphite is walking by and she pops out to burst him and manages to drop a mid ult saving herself for the third time from death. And for our number one pro play for this week we have a mana potion playing on Tristana. She arrives at Baron and immediately gets on Brand as he is not closer to her by Gragas and then flashes so Tristana is going to jump after but is stunned by Dazzle. With the enemy team chasing she runs a bit and turns with a smart cast ult to knock them back allowing her to finish off Brand and then jumps right after dodging Graves' smoke screen. She gets on Tark and then Sona, but when she starts to chase, they all get on her and she falls extremely low, but gets the kill on Graves and then jumps to Sona, getting the triple fall by the quadra kill, and then using her W to dodge Maokai's sapling and chase him down for the Penta kill and ace. GG. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have Dud915 stud on Morgana, and man has it been a while since the last. This clip is a time lapse of a 35 minute long game, and of course that means we have to fast forward so that you wouldn't have to sit there and watch the entire game. With this being said, if you see any skips or characters going through walls, it's not a glitch, but rather League of Legends recorder when you fast forward a clip. This clip I found hilarious and skilled at the same time, and all I will say is look at our golden items throughout the entire 35 minute long game. I don't want to give away too much to let you guys enjoy it, but I'll say this, dude, Morgana's passive. Thanks everyone for watching, and I hope you enjoyed week number 44 of our League of Legends Top 5 plays.